having coming come from CoSide, spent the last three years doing their web work. And now Kevin uh, effectively replaced me uh, pretty well upgrade over there. <laughs> as, a new up, as an upgrade, right? Yeah. And uh, it gave me a really good opportunity to really look at what Fisher is doing. And Fisher in its, as a college itself is, I would say, a little bit slow to the ball game when it comes to social media and just its web presence in general. So it was a really huge opportunity. So what I'm, gonna, what I'm gonna share with you is a lot of, uh, probably more model and kind of the foundational work that I'm doing that will lead up to a lot of what Ted and the university has already done, and I'm not sure what the medical center and some of these other groups, but really a little more foundational perspective. I'm not gonna get too, too much detail on some of the stuff. Um, it's web. The, so I'm just going to overview like how we're getting started, how to how to make a, a foundation to get sustainable web presence, and how to tie it in central. Just to give you an idea of kind of where we're starting out at, and a couple of examples how we're starting to tease it in. A lot of the work I'm doing now is basically selling the foundation about why we should be there and how to make it sustainable. And it's really tying it all together is the hard part. So if we just bring it <coughs> is why does Fisher have a website? And honestly, nobody could answer that question for me. Uh, when, I, when I was interviewing, when I the first couple months I started there, it's like, you know, that's a huge problem. And so we really started out with the basic fundamentals of you know, website mission and vision type of type of material. And I'll bring up with the mission and vision for Fisher's web presence, which really steers the vision of all the tools that we choose for social media application and how they support our core, which is our website. So this is the, the mission that we have to attract, retain, and serve Fisher's current and future faculty, students, and alumni through emerging and existing internet technology. It, it's purposefully vague, but it puts the emphasis around service and attracting and serving them. And then the vision is just really centering around our faculty, our thought leaders, and establishing ourselves as a long-term resource. So I really had to start there because you know why do we why do why should Flickr or why should uh, Fisher have a YouTube account? Why should it do this and that and this and that and Facebook and all those things when you can't even tell me why we have a website? And so we really need to start back down to the fundamental. And I'm just going to show you this slide really quick. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. This is a personal model that, that I've been developing over the last four years about how to uh, define and sustain a website for higher ed and actually more, more so for not-for-profit organizations. And the center is really focusing on your orientation of your, your customer or your constituent engagement, uh, moving from an advertising orientation to a resource or mission-based focus. And really what I noticed four years ago, I asked myself the question, why are these websites failing? You know, CoSites was in the same boat, organizations I've done in the past and worked with were in a very similar boat. And actually Fisher is in the same boat as well. You have websites, you provide, you know, marketing materials, information, <coughs> things like that. And then you wanted to be a resource. You provide all this information, all these databases, all these catalogs, and what was missing was a sales orientation. Developing your relationships. How can you develop repeat visitation, your effective email marketing, your consistent in your look and feel, your brand, and your communication. All that centers around your engagement and getting people to care about you. And that's really what was really missing. And then you have these three parallel developments, and the one that's really focused today is the social media side. You have your system development, your CRMs, your databases, your CMSs, and then you have your design, your navigation, look and feel. So what we're going to talk about here briefly is the emphasis on the social media because those three, are what I call the three parallels, really center around going towards that core of resource, which is your mission base for your organization. In this case, the mission that the college has, not the mission that I just put up there. The mission that is the that I have for the web for Fisher is mirrored right after the mission that the college has. Uh, 
fonts are a little bit different on this machine, but what I want to showcase here is an example of how obey, this is a really basic high level model of how the involvement of a, basically the social media strategy in general and how it works. And I'm using this to really, because it's really hard because there are literally thousands of tools and opportunities out there, as you all pretty well know. But from an organization standpoint, how do we pick the right ones to support our site and what we do and the individual goals and objectives of the college and the individual units who want to have these tools but also need to sustain these tools. So it really all needs to center around your central website in the community. I was on a uh, plane ride to San Francisco about two years ago going to the museums and the web conference. I was reading through the, the submitted papers and a lot of the question, uh, the discussions then were was around the word community. And what, is that, what does that mean? What does it mean to have an online community? And a lot of the papers that I was reading were, well, I have a YouTube channel, so I have an online community. Or I have a Flickr account, or I have a WebShots account, and I have an online community. It's like, well, no, you don't. And I was just thinking, about it. it's like, you know, no, that's, not, that's not true. If you have a YouTube channel, you're, you have space on a video sharing community. If you have a Flickr pool, of photos and they're collecting photos around a similar place, you have particip you are participating in a photo sharing community. So really what this model kind of vaguely just visualizes is how all these sites, all these social media tools need to be connected with each other, but more importantly back to your central core, your own community on your own site or at least supported and centralized there. You know, if the, you know, the university has a Flickr account, or not a Flickr account, a uh, Facebook account, but it's heavily advertised here and supported here. You know where to get to it. If it wasn't supported or anything were mentioned here, it would be floating out here in no man's land. You really need to, to focus on that central agent. So at Fisher, what we're doing is we're really, really weak here. Our website is a conglomerate mess. There's no consistency in it. Inconsistency is the rule. And so we really need to get our stuff in order. We've actually just this summer approved new brand guidelines uh, for the college. So we've really gotten our look and feel. And our content management system on the back end is a little shaky. So we really need to get our emphasis here. As far as the kind of what order and things like that to go in, uh, really what I, where I start at, and this is my opinion, is for organizations is video and photos. Uh, photos is pretty easy, low risk. It's a pretty easy sell because a lot of people already take photography. They already have photo sharing accounts. And an example of something we're probably going to start actually launch this week with faculty and staff and next week the week after with students is an international photo pool that is Fisher. So Fisher's international photo pool on Flickr where the faculty, and staff, and students and alumni can submit their experiences of their overseas trips. And a lot of them do it on behalf of the college. There's a lot of uh, study abroad, a lot of international trips, especially our faculty do a lot of international speaking and consulting. And it's an opportunity to share all those experiences. And so we're really starting to pilot those kinds of things. But what that does, starting out here, is that particular photo application, we're not doing that, we're not going to, to Flickr because it's good you know, search marketing or online marketing for the college. We're really doing it for the students. I'm not selling the technology. I'm not selling Flickr. I'm selling the fact that the students can communicate with one another. They can celebrate their experiences. They can get engaged. Uh, Fisher can see where their students are. You know, things like that. And that's what you, and that's what you sell. But the, this particular tool, I'm going to be, there's a lot of Flickr tools that have been developed since they've open sourced their a lot of their APIs to automatic anything submitted to that pool will automatically be updated on Fisher's site. No, there's no work at all. Uh, YouTube and all these other tools have very similar kinds of functions. And then we'll eventually get into video, um, probably you know get into some YouTube channels, uh, things like that. A lot of work still has to be done um, going down that avenue. But those particular tools support the development of these other <coughs> networks. So if you have your if you have a Facebook account, well you gotta have some gotta have some photos and video and a blog too. Otherwise you're just dealing with text. And text all by itself is a lot of boring unless you have a picture and video with it. So you start out with some of the basic tools. So that's what we're doing at Fisher. 